No, I will just make, I'll just sit another one in case it's too big to. Okay. Steer, see how it can steer? This says yeah. steer angle. So I'm steering the beam. And that's your gate? That's the gate. Now you look for it's called sample volume on this machine, but mm -hmm. some machines might actually call it gate. That allows us to be more selective. We can sample oh. a whole large area or small area or something in between, right? So that's the gate. Steer angle, angle correct is the protractor. See it's set at 60. When I change this, see the number changing here? Mm -hmm. Because you're it's making the angle that you want. So if I wanted a 40, I don't know, 40 degree angle, it's saying if you line up the vessel wall with this line, then you'll be at 40 degrees. But not on the vessel wall. No, no, you want to put it in the middle where the flow actually is. Now let's see if I go like this, it automatically is going red on this machine. Not all of them will. To show you, you probably don't want to use that angle. Like this one's so close to 90, right? See, you practically have 90 degrees there. But mm -hmm. we can see that anyways. We don't need this guide to tell us that that's almost 90. But 60 is harder to see, right? So let's say we weren't looking at this guide. Tell me when you think we're at 60. Around I would that. say they are. They're out there? Let's see. What does it say? 55. 55. So we're close, but instead of eyeballing it, we can get exactly that 60 so we know that it's lined up. Does that make sense? So it's like a built-in protractor. It allows us to not have to eyeball the angle. Like you guys are pretty good. You were there about 55, which is good, but it was off just a little bit. But what would happen if we were off just a little bit at 55? Well, it could change. It would underestimate the velocity. Right, because it's changing the cosine, exactly. Exactly. So, all right, let me add some gel and show you what this looks like when we're playing with an actual Doppler, although we don't really even need to do this. But you can see and Sorry. hear it. I know, let's see if I have this. Where's the top? Oh, it's not. There, they're both live now. All right. This is the vessel. See how my depth is really deep? Look at them. Remember we were talking about the PRF? Yeah. Do I need to be that deep? No. No. Now why would I want to decrease the depth? Uh, because of aliasing. Well, we want to avoid that in case because it's locked. See the depth here? Three centimeters. Oh. See how I'm changing that? See how we were really deep? I'm going up and down with the depth button, which is right here on the control. So let's look at this vessel. It's pretty shallow, right? I don't need all this wasted yeah. space. Mm -hmm. I need more PRF for my velocity scale. How do you know when you're at the 60? Does it tell you? Well, it says 60, but I have to line it up. Yeah, she's got to move the... How do you know? Yes, too, sir. Because you lined it up with the wall. You see that? Oh, does it move on its own, this little thingy? The cursor? Um, you have to line it up with the wall. Mm -hmm. But the wall like, see is how it's at not, 60. It's right, it's not lined up. I have to do this. See, see when I do this on my neck? Right. See how it changes? I have to move that um, line up. It's okay. work. Okay. Especially on yourself. There oh, we go. I see. Then when we do that, then we bring it in. Mm -hmm. Look at what's happening. We have. Oh, it's aliasing. So how do I fix it? You have to increase your velocity scale. Which is. The PRF. Mm -hmm. Go ahead so and do it's, it. So it's this. Yeah. Increase okay. it till you think it's right. Mm -hmm. I'd say that. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, so cute. So you see how we did that? 
Of course, I slid when I was just freezing it. But we want this to line up with the wall. That's how you know you're 60. Okay. But you want to bring it in where the flow is in the middle. Because if you're too close to the edge, you're going to get slow flow. You're only getting what's going in through that gate. If I put that gate up here, I listen to the flow along the wall. If I put it in the center, I'm listening to the flow in the center. So line it up with the wall first and then move then it Then move it, yep, the... line it up. So did you see I had to work at yeah. that? It's mm -hmm. not easy. So half the battle is you guys being able to find the vessel, staying on it and get that 60. Because we set the guide up so we know the guide's all set. Now it's us rocking it until the vessel wall is parallel with the guide that we set. Is there a certain like pressure that you should apply or well you don't want to you put don't want too much pressure that they can't breathe you know okay. they can't, or you're going to cut off their blood flow <laughs> and all that stuff you don't want to do any of that stuff so you want to have light pressure but at the same time you're going to have to rock it a little bit so that's basically how it works let me show you what the wall cool. filter does let's get back on it's just hard to scan let's see i'm trying to get everything you know whatever you get now, find the wall filter control and then go up with it. You'll say W, F. This, this, this mm -hmm. is the wall filter. So you push it in. Oh, now good. turn the dial and watch what it does when you go increase ahead. it. Okay. To the right. Keep going. Oh, I see what it's see doing. See it's filtering? It's, it's, this is getting... Mm. Isn't it like not as like intense? That's bad. We don't want to increase it, right? It's cutting it's... off the low velocity. Mm-hmm. I'm going to turn it down. Keep going until it's noisy. See if I talk, they'll be clutter. That's going down. Like, Did I turn it down too low? Mm -mm. Wait, I don't think I'm... Look, down the wall filter is not moving when I'm... Oh, that's as low as it's going to let you go in the system. See, our system's different, too. It won't let you go any lower. It lets you go high. Let me just show you what it did. See how it's cutting off the bottoms? Mm-hmm. Like, you have the peaks, but you're missing all the bottom. That's when your wall filter is so high, it's filtering out too much of your signal. And when it's too low, you usually have clutter. Mm -hmm. So, some systems won't let you go too low. Some won't let you go too high and won't let you cut it. They won't even let you cut that much off. It'll kind of stop you into a range. But you still have to understand what it does is it clears up the noise along the baseline. And this, again, is hard to show you while I'm doing it on my cell phone. Do you want to do it on us. me? We could, but then you can't watch, so. Okay. But either way, it's not going to, um, see the cut, see how it's cut off? Mm-hmm. I have to go to the left with it. See how high that is? You don't even see diastolic flow. See, as you're lowering it, here it comes. Oh, now oh, you gosh. changed the PRF. Yeah. Oh, I have to click it in. <laughs> I should go Fix back. Fix that first. Push it again. Wait, I need, I'm still changing the PRF. Mm. I have to get back on it. Now you're seeing it. Well, Is that good? Mm -hmm. See, that's a much better all-around image, right? Mm -hmm. Kind of scroll back. Ooh. So there you have a good PRF setting and a good wall filter. So you're not filtering out too much of the signal. You're not clipping off the top. It isn't too high that it looks squished. And your vessels across the screen... And this is set at 60, and it lines up with the vessel wall. That's the goal. Okay, cool. and like the sample volume just allows more of a range to fill in or just be selective like a little bit and not much of a range.
What is this 94% for that? I have no idea what that is. That is that aorta? This is saying frame rate. I don't know. This is the dynamic range. It'll tell you a bunch of stuff on here. This one's for, like one is for grayscale, one is for Doppler. Mm, right, right. So this is the dynamic range for the grayscale. This has the wall filter, the PRF for the Doppler, the gain. I mean, in this, mm -hmm. you know, you mm -hmm. can do it after the fact. There's a the gain up here, too. That. Yep, that's mm -hmm. your gray scale. That actually might be what's changing. Or none of them are changing with the Well, it's just that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. So, and every machine's different, but you have certain basic controls. You're going to have to set up your patient, put your name in, all that stuff. Some are going to prompt you to select a type of study. Some, they're all completely different. Some will, you know, have you set up, you know, exactly what you want by selecting your transducer and then what settings you want. Some are presets. Mm -hmm. So That's you just cool. got to really kind of know how each control works. And then as you start to practice and play, 